think I should be able to beat seven levels or so in two hours. <clears throat> Hey, Manny. Hey, Draken. Hey, Matt. I I hate when Twitch is just like, yeah, you chose night mode, but I'm gonna randomly not. Oh, we're starting off with a volcano level. The classic. Let's turn this music up, because this game has good music. Get your Magmar champs so ready. Yeah, had a feeling that was coming. I hope everybody's having a good day. Motherfucker. Yeah, every enemy in this game is a plant. game takes some inspiration from Rayman and Rayman did that shit. <laughs> it could just be could just be a pool of sriracha. than I expected. Hell yeah. All right. We got lava and brambles. So this is a perfect level to start the stream on here. Okay, those aren't killable. I hope everybody, like I said, is having a good day. Oh god, that's... pesky. <laughs> Glad I got that heart now. I am not particularly proud to say that that Smash Brothers presentation earlier kind of got me. It's like Sakurai is taking a ride into the sunset. Fifty percent chance you're gonna be sick today or this week. Welcome to my world. Fuck. I don't really care about Kingdom Hearts anymore. Like after the first like, after my first time playing the second game, and I was just like, wow, this lost all of the magic. 
I've pretty much not cared at all about Kingdom Hearts. But there's still some nostalgia in there for me, and it's a big series that a lot of people love, so it's a good pick. It's just more so that it was literally just a presentation of basically Sakurai saying goodbye. Which is... I don't know how long. Like, there's probably going to be another Smash game, but... Uh, no. Um, in Kingdom Hearts 1, the basic story is, like... Basic story is real simple. It's Sora looking for his friends who have been dispersed around different worlds. And then coming up and meeting with Disney characters, and it's just like this weird mix of Final Fantasy, traditional JRPGs, and Disney. But after that, it just got up its own ass with like so many uninteresting and completely fucking nonsensical characters that they just kept adding and adding and adding and adding and adding. And the gameplay got way more mashy as it went on as well. Kingdom Hearts 1 didn't have a great story, but at least it was a story that didn't require you to do research. But by the time Kingdom Hearts 3 came out, there's like fucking... I hate these so much. By the time Kingdom... By the time that Kingdom Hearts... I, I'm, I'm dead, yeah. Kingdom Hearts is bonkers. That's a great way of putting it. Kingdom Hearts 1 was simple and kind of like... Locked in its own... Like, it was isolated. You had these Square characters interacting with these Disney characters, and it was weird and it was bonkers. But it, it it never went too far in the world of nonsensical bullshit. And then as soon as Kingdom Hearts 1 was over, they are like, oh, we've got them. We can get them to watch our story, which doesn't make any goddamn sense. Like, you can't even... Like, you can't even really play Kingdom Hearts 2 without doing research after, like, Kingdom Hearts 1 because you got Chain of Memories doing bullshit. And I think there's even, like, a mobile game in there somewhere that only came out in Japan. Like, they just... And they're almost all on different consoles. Like, they're all consolidated on the PS4 now and Steam, but for a long time it was just, like, the most go-fuck-yourself move to the fans, and it was frustrating. And a lot of the games aren't good. Either way, I'm super happy. Like, as much as I will shit on the Kingdom Hearts series now, it was a pretty damn important series to me when I was younger, and I know it still has a lot of fans, so it getting in Smash is a pretty huge deal. Yeah, it's not good storytelling.
It's also kind of interesting to note that the only thing with any Disney imagery that's actually in the video game is the keychain. What character do I think that NL chose to play? Knowing NL, he probably picked... I could see NL going with Reptar. Maybe Patrick. Coincidentally, both bald. Ha ha! I like the game from what I played of it, but it has some problems. Like, you could tell that it was a fairly budgety, rushed game, because there's a lot of just quality of life stuff that aren't in it, but the game plays well, and that's the important thing. So hopefully people buy it and it can get added later. Do I have everything? I sure do. My only real problem with the game so far is that there's no alternate colors, which is bad if you're playing in a mirror. Especially for somebody like me. Anyway. Discerning immediately off the colors is pretty important. Um, Hurry Hurricane. Oh boy. I have a feeling I know what this one's going to be as well. I'd be a lot more excited if I didn't have to grab all the gems. But hey, that's what this game is. Let's fucking go. the goal, huh? Had a feeling there's gonna be a tornado still. Alright, uh, let's get back to that running. Whoosh. That was a bad sight read. Enjoy this level. It's a little bit precise, but hey, that's what I'm here for. I hope Anil does surprisingly good in that tournament. I don't think he will because movement is such an important part of that game and Anil's movement is shit, but it would be wonderful.
Oh, Jesus. That was way too close. Ah! Bah, 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 bah. Well, that was all terribly frightening. No! I... Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, no, there's, um, there's checkpoints. Every level has a midway point. That is way more difficult than I expect. Wait. That's... Whatever, I'll take it. Oh, this one sucks. <laughs> okay, let's fucking go. Why didn't I get the extra jump? I got I didn't get the extra bounce. Fuck you. <laughs> Don't like that one at all. Please tell me I got everything. Thank God. That was fun, but it was also stressful. This is good game. Fun level design. Oh, we got brambles and uh, bounce pads and barrel blasters. Oh, good. I'm sure nothing will go wrong in this stage. Hey, if you want to make Tsunami Champ and, and Hurricane Champ, I'd be completely fine. Oh, 
I was not holding on to the button. Okay, that's cool. didn't hit I demand justice <laughs> I didn't duck there was a ledge fuck Is that there? Interesting place for a trampoline. I don't know if I've seen this level archetype before with like. God damn it, that's finicky. That's a problem. With uh, the bounce pads and the barrel blasters together. That's interesting. At least never like this. Okay, I just didn't get the read quick enough. Burning carrot is magmar. Yeah, I could see that working. disagree, but whatever. Oh, boy. I missed one. Son of a bitch. Good level, but I missed... Did I miss some gems, too? I didn't look at my number. Barely, but I got it. I like that level a lot. Don't know if I've seen anything like that. Did I accidentally pull out my mic? Nope, it's still there. Oh, 
What am I doing? Dying! Dying is the answer! <laughs> I was looking at Chad for a split second and just all went to shit. This time, fucker. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> oh, no. overwhelming. Maybe that was a little bit impatient. Yeah, if they would have stopped, they would have ended up in the hole, but it was overwhelming me for a moment. Lizard. Zip lizard. The hell? I have a feeling I'm gonna. Oh no! Fuck! I know exactly what this is. It's gonna be a minecart level with zip lines. Okay, maybe not. Gun Delta. I had a feeling they don't do that for no reason. Reach the goal. Just woke up? Yeah. I know that feeling. I woke up... Not... Fuck this! This is gonna be a minecart level. I did not see the Garda changes yet. 
Okay. I see. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. I'm confused. I'm very confused. I have double jump. I forgot. Never mind. I'm less confused. I'm just dumb. This is going to be wild. Motherfuck! the crystals. Oh, no. Yeah, not a feeling. Yeah, that sounds like something NL would say. Fuck! I forgot you can't hold... Got... I got the bonus out of the way. That's fine. Just got to worry about making through the level now. smash down I'll give them credit this level is fucking ambitious I kind of love it ah, I didn't smash down quick enough Onion. Yeah, the dragon mask is fun.
just wasn't paying attention. I thought I'd be fine there. Guys, there's a lot going on here. my sight read of this so much better. just gonna <sighs> so guys how's it going I hope everything is going well in your world today Supposed to jump. Motherfuck. Slowly but surely, we're making improvements! I. Thank God there's not lives in this game. That's all I'm gonna say. Having to pick up every crystal, on the other hand, is a little bit much sometimes. Glad you're loving it. To be honest, I am too. Failing on minecarts levels, as it were fills up a strangely high percentage of my childhood. I could not have fucked that up worse. jumps. I keep forgetting I don't have to hold the button when I jump off of them with this mask. Not be defeated by your auto runner video game. 
I will maybe be defeated by your auto runner video game. I talked shit, and because of it, I got hit. Makes sense. Yeah, I think I just gotta run and do nothing. Like, that's the ultimate bait. It's like, you're doing all of these crazy fucking maneuvers. Here, just don't do anything. Just calm your tits and just stay still for- Fuck! I'm talking! <laughs> How dare this commentary thing make this harder? It's almost as if distracting focus from playing the game makes for insane circumstances that happen only when you're not paying attention. I'm so mad! I am so angry! I'm actually not angry at all. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself, but I'm not really angry. As an additional note, as an additional note, I'm gonna have to beat this level with no hitting it if I wanna get all the trophies, which I might, because this is a game that I think deserves it. This game is fantastic. That was some Mario Maker shit. Fantastic. Yay! First try. That was very fun near the end. Level five is a water stage. Called Haunted Lake. Oh, goody. Yeah. I like the water levels in this game so far. They've been a lot... Of... Fuck, that anglerfish is coming back, isn't he? Never mind, take it back. This sucks. I hate it. Why the fuck is that platform there? Why is this platform here? It's confusing me. God damn it. Stop hitting me as soon as I get... My little buddy back. Also, I see that one. This is weird. Fuck! 
Fuck! How dare you move slightly to the right! It is cheating. Cheating, I say. Landing in water is the problem on this one. <laughs> Got burped by a melon. melons on this motherfucking stage hi sorry I just got bopped by a melon twice actually thrice yeah I definitely got bullied there How's it going, sorry? I hope your day is going well. Oh, fuck! Okay, there's a lot to... A lot to focus on here. Just kill me. I was at the end of the level, and I'm just like, oh, I missed one. That's not going to work. Hi, ugly. Ah! 
Yeah, that's not gonna do anything because they were both alive. I gotta hit the light and then, okay. Some of that area was very anti-sight read. Motherfuck. Motherfucker. Get away! Get away! <sighs> yeah, there's some very tough to see on your first play of this fuck. say it's not enjoyable though. I did the same thing, but I think I saw something that I missed again. Enjoy your food. I will try not to keep dying in the same ways. Dying in different ways, that's kind of my specialty, I guess. Son of a bitch. Let's hope I don't need a uh, hundred percent of them. Okay, yeah, that's just a ruby in the stage. That's not an actual thing? That's good to know. I did the same thing again. Fucking A! That's so hard to spot. Like, I should have, like, not done the same thing three or four times now, but my point stands. The fact that I don't have any fear doing that movement is a testament to how good these underwater controls feel, which is good. Not something every game can say they have is good water controls. Motherfuck, I missed one.
Yeah, I... I read your message, I just didn't see it. And now I'm... Don't tell... You bastard. What am I doing? Okay, now I'm mad. is this thing? I'm just forgetting to press the goddamn button now. I'm so focused on looking for this fucking crystal. Yes, I, I'm aware.
Where the fuck is that? What the fuck do you mean by undercut? There's nothing here! Oh, sorry.
I am really fucking pissed off that I don't see anything. I don't mind if I'm just failing shit, but the fact that I can't see anything is pissing me off! Eat a dick. I trust Draken when he says that he sees it, but it pisses me off that I can't! here Assuming Draken saw it after the checkpoint because that would make sense, but I don't fucking know because I can't see shit! No, the level's fine. The level's done. Just missing a crystal that Draken saw, and I can't fucking see shit! Which has me angry, as you may have noticed. to not have shitty fucking eyes is what I need.
I haven't found the crystal, and when I asked, hey, uh, what did you mean by you saw it? Like, where did you see it? You were just gone. Oh, okay. Thanks. Good to know I got Good to know that I got driven mad by fucking red herring. Unintentional as it may be. Now I gotta look in the rest of the stage for the fucking thing. <sighs> and immediately fucking die. forgot if you're not I'm not sure I'm paying attention I'm just trying not to get hit by them Yeah, I got the first one. <laughs> fucking hate making a complete fucking fool out of myself. Sorry for the rage, everybody. I hate when I do that.
There we go. I, I understand that it's not necessarily my fault, but it still got to me, which I hate. I try my best, and I work so freaking hard to get my anger un under control. Don't get brain worms. Ah, oh, I see. I see the gimmick. I like the gimmick. I feel like I've already missed a few of the bonus barrels. <laughs> I also jumped into acid, you know. Cause that's a thing you should do. At least I made a mistake and I wasn't losing my mind over something that wasn't there. That's the worst. Hopefully you guys are still here and you didn't... You didn't zoom away when I got unnecessarily angry. as I am usually one to do when people get out of their mind, which I can safely say I was. Nope, no, 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 oh no, oh, oh no, oh. Aha, safety. Haha! <laughs> Tiger suit, you saved me. I don't like that I haven't found either of the bonuses yet. Three letters deep, and I haven't found either of the letters or any either of the bonus barrels. Ah, fuck! There's one of them, at least. Stream is fun. Good to hear. Uh, went for another toast, though. You're back now. Your true bonus for, is the friends we made along the way. I mean, I don't necessarily disagree. That's definitely the true bonus I've gotten from this stream, is the friends that I've made along the way. Nope. 
feel like there's something up there that I just missed, but whatever. We'll take it as we get it, right? Really hope it's not exactly 100 gems in this stage. That would be bad. Ah, <laughs> speaking of. me pressing the button at the wrong time. Well, I'm glad, if anything, that these stages got harder. Because this is actually some really solid level design. I'm just being bad. <laughs> Which I cannot blame the game for. Sleep deprivation, painkillers, sure. Not the game. The game has not made me bad. I got y'all this time, fucker. Please don't, well, that's obviously gonna be the second one. I clearly missed the first one, which sucks. Oh no. Oh my god, what happened? <laughs> oh no! Physics! Yeah, that's the second one. That sucks. Whoa! <laughs> hey, I was, I was just trying to do a ground pound, but why'd you go forward, Kaze? I at least got one of the bonuses, so I don't have to look throughout the entire fucking level next time. I can just look before this one. A lot going on there. I once again remind myself that I used to not like swearing. This is what 11 years of living only with my dad will do. that I'm going to have to do this slow level again. I don't mind doing it, because it's pretty fun, but kind of time consuming. And I just want the gems, or the bonuses, that's the one. I am clearly missing something here. 
lose the ability to speak. <laughs> I blame that one on you, sorry. He tempted me with never having to talk again. My god, I'm just... We've hit the point where I'm starting to fail in all of the different ways now. I like it when there's peace and quiet. You and me both, my friend. You and me both. What am I doing? I'm rushing. Don't ask questions to know the answer to. Also, interesting that the midway point is like before the, even the second letter. Another 10 or so tries and Salve won't even make the first jump anymore. I mean, that is something that does happen. Sometimes. That's all well and good, but, like, I need to find the first ba the first bonus. And then I gotta go through that level again, and that's a slow one. And I'm starting to hit a time limit. But where is this acid coming from? I'm not sure, because the clouds just all of a sudden get green here. And it's a volcano. I did have a feeling at the beginning of the level. I'm just curious if... Okay, it's not there. They didn't try to pull some real scum. Uh, my day's fine. Um, interesting that that's there. I had a lot of trouble sleeping due to pain, but thankfully, ever since I woke up, the pain's been pretty under control. But yeah, watch the Smash presentation. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh. Well, that's very forgiving of them. <laughs> As I immediately fuck it up. Um. Kind of want to do some drawing today, but I don't know if my body will be up to it. This will be a... F very interesting time trial stage, actually. Whoa, why did I fall off that almost? I have a hunch and I don't like it. Okay, that's... 
almost certainly not it. So let's just go under the idea that it's not backwards. Starting to get worried. These bonus barrels have been kicking my ass today. Don't need more of it. Had a feeling. Okay, cool. But yeah, my day's been going well. Um, a lot of pain last night, but also just in general. As weird as this is, like, like I, I feel sore as fuck, but like physically I don't feel sick, which is good. So physically I do feel good, even if my body is just like, yeah, stop moving like that. If you have an injured leg, don't walk four kilometers. <laughs> And I thought my mood was good, but then I got sent on a wild uh, bonus chase and lost my damn mind. You know. You know how it is. Very happy I made that. How's your day been going? I also got a really good laugh out of the PlayStation Plus games being Mortal Kombat X and not Mortal Kombat XL, which is usually cheaper than Mortal Kombat X. So you have to buy all of the DLC extra, even though, like, it routinely goes on sale for $7. Canadian. That being said, though, I think Mortal Kombat X is... One of the best fighting games out there. Like, just straight up one of the best fighting games. However, it just not coming with eight characters when it really easily could have is a little bit funny and a little bit scummy. And I was a little bit early. I also saw early this morning that even more fucking DLC for The Sims came. Like, Sims 4 came out, which is just like... That game is a parody. It's, it's still popular online because Injustice 2 and uh, Mortal Kombat 11 do not give the same experience of MKX. Injustice 2, I... I have less problem with, but MK11 is just... Sadness. And betrayal. I almost did it again. Go me. Yeah, Injustice 2 is... Like I said, Injustice 2 is not as bad. A lot of people give it shit because of zoning, but... Like... I'd rather have a game with strong zoning than a game with weak everything. You know? <laughs> B. 
Baff might agree with you. He's played that on stream a few times. Okay, Scalding Gears. This might be the last normal level of the game. Well, if that doesn't tell me it's going to be a fucking... Minecart level, I don't know what is. Oh. <laughs> okay, there's one of two. Also a bit of a banger. Sounds very Paper Mario to me. Which is a game that Delta, if it hits the, the Nintendo Switch online, I cannot recommend Paper Mario enough. I play through that game like once or twice a year. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, this is some really cool visual level design. Never mind, it's horrible. It's a betrayal. Yeah, the GameCube one I like a little bit more because it's just, um, I think it's better written and it has more mechanics in battle. But number one is super charming. Do you prefer Paper Mario to Flesh Mario? And what about Metal Mario? Metal Mario, I don't care much for. Flesh Mario has done some real good shit. Paper Mario has only done like three good games and then like three games that I don't particularly want to play ever. Talking, see? Fucking me over. <laughs> what a slime Mario. No, there's a slime Luigi. There's a Gooigi, but I don't think there's a slime Mario. And don't even get me started on Chris Pratt Mario. That's the worst kind. Why did I do that? I knew that was a bad idea the moment I pressed the button. <laughs> Yeah, in uh, Luigi's Mansion 2, um, the co-op partner is just, um, it's just a slime Luigi that I think canonically is being remote controlled by Dr. Egad, which, I'll give it credit, is a cute way of doing co-op. Luigi's Mansion, uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. Um, Oh yeah, Luigi's Mansion 3, by the way, is a fucking gorgeous video game. Like, it's one of those games, like, um... It's one of those games where it really proves that... That style, when done well, can make something look tremendous, like, way better than... Going for strictly realism. Yep, yeah, saw that coming. DeVito is basically already a Goomba. He's damn close. He's definitely close to the uh, Super Mario movie Goombas. But I also think he's, weirdly enough, pretty close to the actual Goombas. This might require more research. Also, this level has some pretty tough platforms. I'm down for it, but I'm also talking a lot. Yeah, there's some there's some Switch games that look fantastic despite being on the Switch. When unfortunately, some Switch games run like shit, and it's like Astral Chain looks fantastic and plays super well. Um, Fire Emblem looks great. It's a little bit simplistic, but it looks great. Smash and... Ah, hi there. Smash and Mario Kart look absurdly good, I'd say. 
Oh, hi there, pumpkin. Luigi's Mansion looks incredible, but that's what I'm trying to mention here. I, I twitched and I hit jump and I didn't realize until it was too late. That was just me having a... Having a bad twitch. Unfortunately, that one does happen sometimes. I won't even be mad at that one. What else on the Switch looks fantastic? Um... I'd say Shin Megami Tensei, or um, I'd say uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, but that game looks the same as it did on the Wii U. Well, we got both of the bonus barrels covered. Okay. Midway, that's fantastic. Yeah, the Bayonetta games look great, but those were both, like, ports. Like, they weren't initially on the Switch. So while I do count them, I don't count them for the argument that I'm trying to make on this one. Um... Oh, Jesus. all of the bonuses. Let's do it. Uh, um, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity looks tremendous, but it also doesn't run great, so I'm not going to count it. There's some levels where Hyrule Warriors 2 just does not run well at all. There's some where it runs fine, but some of them have a lot of frame drops. Most notably the gimmick stages where you're controlling the beasts. Like it run I haven't played it in a while, but I hear it runs a bit <laughs> that trophy was wait, what? Uh, I heard it runs better now than it used to, but Okay, so that's the final boss, theoretically. But what are you? The bullet vader! Oh, oh no. Okay, Bullet Vader, let's see what you got. <laughs> ah. I see that the name was aptly chosen. Oh my Jesus Christ, why? Okay. 
That escalated quickly. I really hope I don't need a hundred of a hundred. Oh no. Oh fuck. Oh shit. That one wasn't as difficult as the other ones, but it was probably about as stressful as the invisible platform one. <laughs> I freaking hope not. We'll find out. Actually, I would love to get revenge on the ghost fish. That angler fish has been fucking me up. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> I should have noticed that a little bit earlier. Oh, I wish there wasn't as much load time in between deaths. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus! Oh, God! And I don't get another hit off that either. Oh, Jesus! We're an auto-scroller now! Oh, fuck. No, no, no. Motherfucker. 
fucking son of a fuck damn it I feel like the bird one is the hardest. How did I not get hit? Oh. Well, now I gotta do this without getting hit, so... Good luck to that one, me. Yeah, this one's definitely the hardest, I think. You don't get much... No, well, maybe not. That one's very short. You almost hit the goal, but then you avoided it the last... That has happened a very disheartening amount of times in this playthrough. You don't get a jump. Fuck. Okay, so that's going to start me from the beginning again, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I can do this. Had to use the dash. I, For some reason, I didn't realize that I could get a jump. Then I panicked. No. Yes. I said yes. Restart the level, you fucks. Probably the hardest of the uh, avoid the zap segments as well. Oh, that's absolute dog shit. I had a feeling it was going to do that, but. Doesn't mean I'm not mad about it.
I don't know what I was expecting for the final boss, but it wasn't like a chipmunk yogi throwing a tantrum. They definitely didn't... They definitely surprised me. I guess he's a rabbit after seeing that. The rabbit turned the vegetables into monsters. That was the rabbit's big evil plan. Against other rabbits and other herbivores. Herbivores? Herbivores? We saved our sibling friend. I assume little sister, considering that the ears were in a braid, but whatever. That would probably really hurt as well. Best friend. Okay, there you go. Thanks, Trophy. Unfortunately, I didn't finish that stage without no hitting it, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> Good game! Very fun game, and considering that this was the team's first published game, or first developed game, I'm super impressed. Very good level design, 
fun gimmicks. Just in general, very solid across the board. Highly recommend it if you like uh, platformers. Matt, you posted... You posted horrors. Oh no, you clipped more shit too. Fun to watch on stream too? I'm glad! I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry that I kind of lost my damn mind at the end there. I was looking for something that was not there, and um, it went as you would expect. I did not find it. Yeah, very good game. Very good, um, very good homage, um, very good homage to games like Donkey Kong Country, Rayman, Origins, and Legends. Little bit of Mario and other inspirations here and there, but I think every platformer is wearing some Mario on their sleeve. Publisher, Sodesco. Um, oh no. No, that was the publisher, not the dev. Uh, the developer, Pixel Hive. Where is Pixel Hive from? There's their Twitter, so I'm gonna give them a big ol' You guys made a real good game, but I don't know, can't find it here, but that's fine. Very fun game. I'm very thankful to you, Matt, for pointing it out to me. Hell yeah. I didn't get all of the no touches or all of the time trials. I only did like maybe two worlds of time trials, but still, damn fun game. Game that you could even play on a fucking Joy-Con. Look at that. Wait, Air Smash. Oh, you could just put it to a button. That would have helped me a few times. Either way. Anyway. Um, that's Kaze. I'm not sure what I'm going to come up with next. I do have Yakuza to finish, because, again, I don't want to leave that game unfinished. It deserves to be finished. But I also want to play Nick on, ste on stream. Um, I've kind of been fiending to play Trials of Mana finally, but Guy's working now, and that's like the worst timing um I'm sure I'll find something I usually do and if not I'll just not ah, crap that is working Apex is not that hmm. we'll figure something out anyway thank you guys for being here I'll see you hopefully tomorrow if my body holds up and even if it doesn't I made through today with only a little bit of anger asterisk. <laughs> I'll see you all next time. Thanks for thanks for keeping patient with me and uh, just being supportive. Later all.